back to a time when you were rescued. It may have required an ambulance or a police car, maybe a fire truck, or it could be that a good neighbor or friend helped you in your time of need. There are many times when we need to be rescued, when we need to ask for assistance. Yet there is only one who can provide the ultimate rescue. When I think back on the ways that God has rescued me, I stand humbled and amazed at the many times He has proven faithful time and time again. When I was born, I was born lifeless. The doctors gave up hope and said there was nothing they could do. But my parents prayed two simple words, Jesus, help. They cried out to Jesus Christ, the name above all names, and He helped me in my time of need. Soon they heard what sounded like a little kitten begin to cough. Even though I spent many weeks in the neonatal center, I was alive. I underwent heart surgery and it was a long road, but God rescued me. And the doctor said if I did get to go home, I would be nothing more than a vegetable. But when I graduated from college, I earned a 4.0 GPA. I don't say that to brag on myself, but to brag on God. Because nothing is impossible with God. God has rescued me so many times. Again, when I was 16 years old, he rescued me from death's door when my colon perforated. I was rushed into emergency surgery, and on the way to the operating room, I told my parents that it was going to be okay, because God would take care of me. I thank God that he gave me such faith, even at a young age, and I've known all my life that he would always prove faithful. No matter what situation you face, God will also rescue you. It doesn't matter how big your trial seems, because nothing is impossible with God. He loves you so very much. The Bible tells us in Hebrews chapter 4 verse 16, Let us then approach God's throne of grace with confidence, so that we may receive mercy and find grace to help us in our time of need. If you need help today, God wants to provide that rescue. He wants to help you in your time of need. Right now I'm reading a book titled The Rescue by Pastor Jim Cimbala and Ann Spangler. What an encouraging read it is to learn of these seven individuals and their amazing stories of how God has rescued them from hopeless situations. One person in the book, Tony, had this friend named Tio who told them about Jesus Christ and how they were loved and cherished by God himself. And I want to encourage you right now that Jesus Christ loves you more than you could ever possibly imagine. And just as he rescued these individuals in this book and just as he rescued me, he wants to rescue you. He is a friend who is closer than a brother and he will never ever fail you. There are times in life when it seems like nothing will ever work out right. I know myself, nine years ago, I lost my mom when she passed away of a heart attack on vacation. I was devastated. My parents and I were like the three musketeers and we were so close. But even in that hopeless situation, I knew that God would never fail. And Romans 8.28 rang true because it said that all things work together for good to those who love God and are called according to His purpose. It doesn't mean that things always work out according to our plan, but God has a master plan for our lives. And Jeremiah 29 11 says, For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you hope and a future. No matter what situation you face, whether it be addiction or depression or marital problems or financial struggles or whatever it is, sickness, illness, disease, it doesn't matter what situation you find yourself in. Because God will rescue you if you just call on Him. The Bible says to call on the name of the Lord and you shall be saved. Jesus Christ loves you and He wants to be there for you every moment of the day. God sent His Son to rescue you. God sent His Son so that we could have a road to redemption. A way to have our sins forgiven. Because the Bible says we've all sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. Through the gift of salvation, we can receive the gift of eternal life. And even though we find our share of struggles in life, we can realize that nothing will separate us from the love of Jesus Christ our Lord, just as we read in the book of Romans, chapter 8. Because God will rescue us. He will help us. He will be our friend. He will be our counselor, our Prince of Peace, our Mighty God, our Everlasting Father. He wants to rescue you right this very moment. Call on Jesus Christ. He will rescue you just as He rescued me. Be encouraged and remember there is hope for you in Jesus Christ because Jesus Christ will be your rescue.
thank you for watching Be Encouraged today. I pray this video has been an encouragement to you and that it will be a blessing to those you share it with. I invite you to go to www.christwillreturn.org for more Be Encouraged videos, for free MP3 downloads of songs my dad and I have written, and for many other resources that we pray will be a blessing to you. I invite you to tune in again next week for another episode of Be Encouraged. Until then, God bless you, be encouraged, and remember, Jesus Christ loves you more than you could ever possibly imagine.